journey here through our EGFC Rocket League in week 13. My name's Jeff uh, filling in. I got George alongside me. It's uh, been a good day of matches so far, and, well, we've got some more bangers coming up for you. Yeah, the first, the second game was an absolute banger, the, the Maris tennessee game. Three overtimes. Oh, it was it was great. It was just I mean, back, overtime back in stuff. game five. You can't ask for any better than that. You really can't. It was honestly, it was like a poetic story writing. But yeah, I'm excited for this game. Arlington uh, versus Bowling Green. It should be a very good game. Or I misspelled on my keyboard. Bowlington greed. The question is, will they greed in this game at all today with the rotations? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> uh, UTA is kind of your team to beat. Uh, I mean, that's the number one seed I mean, for a reason. Super strong squad. Nova, Samba, and Adverse have become just staples, uh, not just in EGF, but across Collegiate Rocket League uh, as a whole. So this is this is going to be a really tall ass for Bowling Green State University. Uh, UTA, I mean, 12 and 0. I mean, and, and not against weak opponents either. They've taken down some really tough squads in the last couple of weeks, as a matter of fact, taking down Delaware and RIT, who are sixth and fifth seeds, respectively. So, I mean, they are, they are toppling opponents that are up in their tier at their level. And right now have really shown barely any signs of weakness. So in terms of the grand scheme of things with uh, Rocket League and, you know, professional playing stuff like that, are, are these these kind of players playing for uh, Arlington, are, they, are these kind of players that we can look at in the future maybe and see them moving on into like the RLCS and stuff like that? Absolutely. Um, particularly their starting three. They don't always play those three. It looks like uh, we do have Adverse, Samba, and Nava on the battlefield right now. So they do have their starting three on the pitch. Uh, these are definitely some players that, with just a little bit more polish, they could absolutely end up in RLCS. They're making a big splash in CRL at the moment. Uh, I mean, but they've they've got the chops, definitely, George. They've got the chops. That's a that's a drumming turn, a term I understand. Nava with the bump, and then <laughs> Samba with the goal, rocking the um, the Jurassic Express Jeep. He loves it. Uh, that, is a, that is a drummer term. I am actually a drummer, so there you go. You know, that, that works out. That works I am out. I'm also been drumming since <laughs> I was six years old. We have more in common than we thought, Jeff. Yes, indeed. Indeed. I started at 10, so you had a couple of years jump on me. But uh, yeah, I've been doing that a long time. Uh, but hey, you know, it helps us understand the rhythm. And right now, it looks like UTA are finding their rhythm. If someone goes up for the double tap, that one didn't quite go home. We're eventually so coming through. Question is, can Bowling Green do anything with this? They've got to maintain some possession, but Nava just launches right out of there, bringing the ball all the way back into the orange half. Yeah, but it's, it's great rotations coming out from Arlington. It's exactly what you expect. It makes it so hard to really make any kind of counterplay on them. Samba gets a great touch, puts it up onto the wall, and if he can get another touch now and potentially put it in a very dangerous area for his teammates. Nick deals with it fairly well and can get it away. Skrilla with a great touch, putting it towards Arlington's net. I will say, BGS, you have been on the uptick. Uh, it's the first time I've seen Skrilla on the pitch personally with he's casting them. Uh, but I mean, they've gone up four or gone up one rank last week. They've gone up three ranks over the past two weeks. So okay. BGSU, I mean, you can't count them out as we see Kringlers tie up game one. Uh, you know, you take those, able to get it from midfield, just caught UTA a little out of rotation, and just like that, it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, and Nava swinging out for the boost, didn't really, maybe didn't expect the pace to come off of it, and I know that's one of the things, that, one of the shots that a lot of people struggle to, to really read. Chance for adverse, great save from Kinglers, the Kringlers, the goal scorer. Almost called him Kingler then, not to be confused with a Pokemon. Samba goes up, <laughs> looking for the double tap, cleared away well, and uh, Arlington will still hold on to the ball though, is there? Looking to pile that pressure oh, on, and it's a great, too. Oh, such a good shot from Adverse in the pass. Oh, it was just beautiful. And this is what makes UTA just so deadly. I mean, look at this upside down shot coming out of Adverse in the corner, following up what was an absolutely a gorgeous pass. Uh, UTA, like, the, they just have this hive mind. Like, the, everybody seems to know exactly what everybody else in the team is going to do, what they're thinking, what the plan is. Uh, and they just play around each other so, so well. Adverse putting the ball down. Samba looking for the shot, but it's well defended in the end by Bowling Green. And Skrilla will get bumped away. Kringler will go up for the, the intercept. But Samba just pushing forward and 
Skrilla can't really defend it. He has to go back to net. Ooh. Bounce down, so dangerous. Another looks at the shot. Skrilla with a little bit of redemption there. Kind of missed a ball that uh, that could have been really dangerous. Ends up coming up with a big save, but BGSU are not out of hot water just yet. They've got to get this thing out of there. Skrilla's going to try to get it past mid, but Samba's right there. Was waiting for that one. Runs out of boost, so just hands it on over. But it wasn't a very clean shot coming out of Nava. Didn't quite go where they were going, or with where they were hoping it would, at least. Yeah, Nevertheless, that's that's first, yep, going back on the attack. Mutation. It's going to send that one out wide, and BGSU survived this onslaught. Samba with a great save as well down the other end. It's doing both parts, passing and shooting, and even a bit of uh, goaltending at the end of it. Nava comes out on top with the ball, and he's still dribbling down this left-hand side. Puts it up, chips over oh. one, and finds oh. the back of the net. Nava, that was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> oh, that was filth. And now it one uh, goal for each player for the UTA. As Nava just dances around two defenders, making that look easy. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. Fantastic stuff coming out once again from, from Arlington and... Well, we said coming into this one on paper, it looks like it will be going one way, but, you know, bite them back, Bowling Green. They were looking for the goal. They got themselves a goal to bring themselves even, but Arlington have come straight, bouncing back, getting two goals back to back. Skrilla, good touch. Samba will clear it away. Yeah, he's going to chase it down all the way to the wall, looking for a pinch. Managed to sneak it around Kringlers with that, but. Second player from BGSU gets a touch. The battle at midfield goes adverse direction and now has eyes on the goal. <laughs> the beat. Can't quite get him past both, but here comes the backup. Now going to put it off the backboard. Sama's just going to let that one fall. Decided to play it back. Didn't want to pursue that one. I think uh, the right play, uh, but can't quite get it out of there. Has to rotate back. Finally, Samba and Adverse combine. Push it back down into the orange half. A little back pass from Samba. Adverse loses control. BGSU going on the attack. Skrilla might have a chance here. Goes up full. Can't find it. It's Mutation on the back post who puts that one home. A good offensive play from BGSU. Getting aggressive and not giving up on this play and just crashing that net. Yeah, it was, well, it was gorgeous, wasn't it? And once again, Bowling Green looking to get themselves back in this game. They've got themselves a second. And can they bring it up to level pegging? I mean... I, I don't doubt that they can. They've broken the defense a couple of times and they've got themselves goals, so they definitely can upset here. But the real question is will they be able to find it with only 30 seconds left to go? I love the mental games when you got both players, both teams just sit and stare at the ball, and there's that moment of pause. Uh, you can feel the tension and who's going to act first. This, uh, that, that's the kind of mental stuff that absolutely just makes this game a, a treat for me. I love it so much. Oh, that pass, I think a little misread. Mutation was the pass, and it just didn't quite sync up for him. Could have been the tying goal right there with dwindling seconds at game one. Kringler's Ooh. just going to try to tie it off the post. It goes. Crossbar, not BGSU's friend, and UTA walk away with game one. Yeah, I mean, right at the end there, it was, it was looking like it was a great chance for a great play, but in the end, Srilla could not read the pass. It just... Uh, yeah, he just, I don't think he expected it to come in that fast, maybe. Maybe he was expecting it faster, but he just didn't get a touch on it in the end. And as you can see, Arlington, well, they're popping off. They got the win. And especially when you're coming up against a team and, that you know, you don't really expect them to be biting back, but they're still biting back. They're still going for it. And they ended up picking up the win still. So I think definitely well played and a deserved win. A BGSU, I mean, looking solid, had, you know, nine shots. Seven of those shots were on target, forcing five saves coming out of UTA and got a pair of goals off of it. So, I mean, seven of the nine in the box, not bad. And BGSU, I mean, they're coming off a three-game winning streak. They're definitely looking stronger than I think their seven and five record would, would initially tell you. Uh, but, I mean, that's, again, a mountain to climb here against the Mavericks, against the number one seed. I mean, even just taking a game off of them would, could go a long way to shake up standings and really bolster their confidence. Yeah, definitely. And we'll have to see if they can do one better in this game. See if they can potentially look to get the first goal of this one. Samba with uh, an awkward touch. Kringlers will get there and try and take it away. Puts it in the middle for one of his nice friends. Pass. And one of his friends is there. Nick will put it in the back of the net for an early 1-0 lead going the way of Holden Green. 
And it all came off of that awkward touch. And then Nava's reading for the shot. Adverse overshoots the, the follow-up player coming in. And that was just a great read from BGSU. Dissecting the defense nicely. And there's that opening goal you were talking about. Yeah, exactly. That's definitely a confidence booster for sure. The Bowling Green has some very aggressive plays coming out from Arlington. But they will just about manage to defend it. Adverse goes up. We'll hit it off the wall. Bit too much power, though. Sends it into the other corner where Bamba is waiting. Samba is waiting. Sorry, not Bamba. Thinking about the footballer. Um, Samba <laughs> will recover and Pringles will get the ball away, but will be demoed to pay for his sins. I want another one. <laughs> oh, well, there, there was your attacking force. Back into respawn goes two thirds of the GSU, and on the attack comes UTA. Mavericks lose control. Nava's going to go ahead and try to pass it on over to Adverse. Looking for another approach here from the midfield line. Get around Skrilla, but Greenlers comes in from behind, disrupts it. Nevertheless, almost able to work its way down. Skrilla with a nice defensive move, pushes it back out. And Surely UTA. Not. Adverse takes to the skies and manages to beat Skrilla from up above. Ooh. Look at this just individual effort. That was beautiful. Even almost got the third flip reset as well, but oh, that was that was absolutely disgusting from Adverse. Absolutely ridiculous show of this display mechanically. Oh, beautiful stuff. 1-1 one, one now, all tied up after a, a brilliant solo effort from Adverse. And it's not just the mechanics, the aerial prowess, but the, the game sense to get up there to, to that slight, I don't know if it was quite a pre-jump, but it looked like he got up in the air before that last touch came in. But just the game sense to know exactly where to be to, to make that happen. And you could see that play developing before they ever left the ground. Uh, truly impressive. And now Adverse with 100 boost, looking to do it again. Takes to the skies. Going to put this one off the backboard. No, it's going to drop. It dropped. I didn't think that was going to fall like it did. Adverse uh, just absolutely calculated. I mean, Skrilla did the right thing to take him out, but he definitely expected one of his teammates to have the net covered. And, well, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter how he score, right? All that matters is it goes into the back of the net. But once again, Adverse popping up in this position, showing that he is one hell of a player to look out for. Samba going up, puts it down. Skrilla reads it this time. But yeah, I think that Skrilla definitely made the right decision to try and go for the bump in the end. Well, and I think the uh, defenders, I think it was uh, Kringlers, if I'm not mistaken, who was looking to protect the net, was actually looking to protect the backboard, thinking that ball was going to bounce off of the crossbar as well. Mm. And it just sank out of the sky. Kringlers are good steals, forcing things down, trying to create an opportunity here. Pass back. Skrilla puts it off the corner, looking for their own pass. Not going to allow that to happen. The defense of UTA are blocking that near post well for now. Forces a bit of a sloppy move, and it's Samba driving all the way back down in the orange half. Adverse might have a chance. Nah, mutation says no. Nava. Ooh. Kringler's good to this time. That would have been a bit of a scream. I had a lot of power on that. Ball up in the air once again. Up for debate. Who wants to try and take it? Nava will come out on top this time, and he oh. takes one on. And Samba takes the ball away from him. So selfish. So greedy. No, obviously... Just kidding, but obviously Nava looking for a uh -oh. solo play there. Ball goes up, Adverse knocks it back down, but nobody's in the position to try and re, uh, retake the shot, go for the next shot. But they do defend well on the back of it and regain possession again. Samba, oh, is he going to go for it? Can't, fortunately. Impressive defense from BGSU over the past minute or so. Now, I mean, they're still behind. They need to find a way to get into the blue half. But they've done a good job to just maintain uh, only a one goal deficit. Novel with some fancy footwork in the air. Fancy tire work, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah I always get. Anyway, can't get hung up <laughs> on uh, tires versus feet. Because uh, right now the score is tied. What was that? What on earth just happened? A little bit of a whiff defensively. Adverse misses there and then into the back <laughs> of the net. Samba can't keep out, can't get the right angle. Yeah, just. Just a little bit of a misplay defensively coming out from Arlington Blue, showing that they, they can make mistakes. You know, they do have these moments where they definitely aren't the perfect team right now, and they can definitely concede goals. They can definitely lose games. Nick going up, adverse makes save this time. You say that they have dropped 
five individual games in the entirety of 12 weeks. They don't lose very many. And if the Falcons are able to take one off at UT oh. here, it would certainly be a feat, but adverse making magic in the skies. Once again, this one from all the way from their own end. Oh my goodness. Dolphy. Jeez, impressive. Thoroughly impressive. Oh, yeah. Hat trick for adverse here in game two. Yeah, uh, wow, what can you say about that? He's just showing, showing off really, isn't he? Just dribbling with the ball with absolute ease. And flip resets underneath the ball, flicks it up, really just floats it, and it comes down, nobody can really read it. it ends up in the back of the net, and once again, Arlington proven that you know, they can make mistakes, they can concede goals, but they are so good at getting goals of their own. They do seem to kind of, uh, uh, how do I phrase this properly? Not play down to their teams. Like that's not quite what I mean, but it's like sometimes they're not at full strength and then suddenly you just see them ramp it up uh, and you get this spike of greatness. Yeah, I agree, definitely. I mean, there's just, there's times where there's a little break in play and you know, a little bit of the ball goes away of bowling green, but then they just come forward and and find ridiculous passes and solo plays. Oh, I mean, this team is just beautiful to watch, to be honest. And yet another 3-2 simultaneous score line. We had in game number one, uh, but this one was all adverse. Game one, goals were spread out evenly. This time, it's the aerial, it's, it's the, <laughs> the aerial prowess of adverse that wins the day for him here in game two. Yeah, I mean, he, he he just showed up, really, didn't he? He showed up and showed off a couple of solo goals. And, in a big way. Yeah, in a very, very big way. And that is definitely what his team needed. His team needed him to show up there in that position and, and find those goals because, once again, we're seeing Bowling Green they don't want to. They don't want to die. They don't want to back down. They want to keep trying to to get this one. And we'll have to see. Is it going to be third times a charm? Turning the face off, UTA driving down right out of the gate, looking to draw first blood early. Game number three. Nava gets around two, has an open goal. What a dance move from Nava. Just showing off some acrobatics on that one. Oh my word, look oh, at the control wow. on this. Yeah, the ball control, be able to land and still keep it on the hood like that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I couldn't Unreal. do that. I, I would mess that up 100 out of 100 tries. Yeah, I think most of us would, to be honest. It was beautiful. You know, the, the air, air roll control, you know, getting the, the car into the right position. Lovely demo, to be fair, from that first, but Nava can't quite get there. And Samba and Nava are going to be double contested each other, but will it work? <laughs> Not too sure. Both ball chasing, like, yeah, yeah, a little bit interesting, but <laughs> well, what can you say? What can you say about it? Not a lot. Uh, yeah, Samba kind of... Uh... Try to make life difficult on their own team, perhaps up in the difficulty. <laughs> 2v4 challenge. I think for the pass across to Kringlers. We'll get it up and clear. Samba misreads the ball on zero boost now. See if potentially the ball and green can take advantage of that. Kringlers wins the 50 50 once again, and Samba refueled on his fuel. We'll be able to contest the ball. Skrilla puts it up. Nava says no, clears it away, but. Once again, Samba bringing it down and into a bit of a dangerous area. Needs to be careful. It was a good shot, but just just wide. Oh, adverse. Here comes adverse. <laughs> oh, the aerial acrobat doesn't make that one home. Every time adverse takes to the sky, like I'm on the edge of my seat and holding my breath. I think we all are, to be honest. Right? Rightfully so. Rightfully so, George. Samba looks like they were playing for the, the blue team again. Adverse going to grab this ball in the corner. Kringler is able to snag the boost, but Adverse still takes the ball away. Trying to work their way all the way down, but Skrilla is waiting for him and is going to continue momentum down to the blue half. Kringler might have an opportunity, but the ball gets ahead of him. Can't get a clean shot on what was an otherwise empty net. With the demo, just going to create some space here for UTA to go on the attack, see if they want to put up a comfort goal. Just a 1-0 lead right now. Uh, it, it looks like they're playing with a 3-0 lead, but no, no, it's adverse. Try to increase it. 
Sends that one a little high. I think got bumped by Samba from behind. We'll turn up the momentum a little bit, but... Still I do think, one oh as we hit this halfway mark. I do think Bold and Green are doing a good job, though, putting pressure on uh, Arlington, but it's, it's not working too, too well right now. They just seem to be fighting through it, finding a way past them. Um, as they're trying to look for these demos passes. Good pinch off the wall from Skrilla. Samba does have to back up and in a bit of an awkward position here, to be honest. Samba will pull it across the box, but Nick can't quite convert the pass as, you know, I feel like they've still got a few chances here, Bowling Green. They're not looking they're not looking bad. They are putting a lot of a lot of pressure on them and chance. Adverse makes the save fairly easily. And Nava can look to make a play of his own going for the solo effort, but Skrilla up in the air reads it. And that's, that's the only way to do it. You got to get up there and challenge Adverse in the air. You can't let them have free reign and, and just have time to figure out exactly how they want to play. Mm. Go challenge it. Go take away the space. Take away the time for UTA to work. And I agree with you wholeheartedly. BG, BGSU, excuse me, have done a fairly decent job at that. Samba with, with a nice little lob's going to make it over. Samba and Adverse both fighting for the ball in the air. Just going to muscle it over into the corner. Empty Chance. net, still can't get to it. Kringlers finds that tying goal. They've been looking for the past nearly four minutes. And once again, bringing them, bringing them right back into it. BGSU always have this thread of hope. They've, they've only lost games one and two by one solitary goal. Now within striking distance again here in game three. Yeah, that's what they talk about. They always look likely, well, they always look like they've got a chance to score. They always look like they can provide something do something in this game and got themselves a goal back and now well Arlington needs to try and get themselves back in this one they need to try and regain the lead and that is very much what is expected of them if they did drop a game here I think quite a few people would be surprised but that's definitely to the you know the well playedness of of Bowling Green as they are playing really really well nobody really expected them to be playing this well and the games to be this close but they really are they just have got to keep their boys about them in this final 40 seconds. Don't let the stress of this get to you. You come in, play the number one seed, and you know, you come in with some knots in your stomach, can throw you off. Samba is going to make that one from downtown. Pixel perfect off the top crossbar. Wow. Able to capitalize on this opening, and that's exactly what I was afraid of. BGSU, they got a little aggressive. They had a little room to work. You got two... Uh, a little too foolhardy on that attack and with a big opening. Holy <laughs> cow! Oh, but immediately back up! Oh, the kickoff. Skrilla finds a gap. Fred's the eye of the needle. <gasps> Nava misses it. Is, it. is he going for the fake or does he miss it by accident? That's the question. I mean, I, you know, we all miss kickoffs sometimes, but that is a really, uh, you know, a devastating, a devastating miss and a big mistake. All up, Samba. Looking for something. Skrilla does well though, and we'll cut the ball away from him. Kringlers with a touch. Nava will do well. Skrilla absolutely smashes it down the other end of the field. Kringler can go up for it now. It's a touch, but it's not enough. Samba goes up. Nava with the pass. Can Nava bring it down? He doesn't need to. It's already dropped down. It's 3 2, and it will be Arlington picking up. Well, there's four seconds to go. Never say never, but it looks like they'll be picking up the win. Need another kickoff goal. It's the only thing keep BGSU in this. Bowling Green State will not get it. Oh, I say that. It's a dangerous touch. Kringlers goes up in the middle. Samba will knock it back down and solidify this series. 3-2 in all three of our games. A very well-played series coming out of the Falcons of Bowling Green State University. But University of Texas at Arlington keep their top dog spot and yet another 3-0 under their belt. Yeah, I mean, they just played really well. I mean, take nothing away from Bowling Green. I think they played... Not truly. They they played great. They played great, to be honest. They, they We didn't expect them to really um, contest this too much, but every game was so, so close. And I think definitely hats off to Bowling Green as Arlington, you know, they're one of the top teams. They did pick up the win eventually, but it was still very close. I mean, they, they aren't one of, they are the top team. They are, they sit sole on top of the mountain at the moment in that number one seed. 
uh, followed by University of Montana, and then Marquette, who actually dropped a series to Seton Hall last week. So that rounds out your one, two, and three seeds. Uh, Arlington.